right. What, Brett? What has to happen for it to be an Olympic sport? I know you guys are, uh, from an exhibition standpoint, that's all about. But who would be involved, the governing body worldwide? In uh, our problem is too many chiefs and not enough yeah. heads. That's like any new sport. That's what it is. Until one time we tried to get a governing body in the state of South Carolina, but then they wanted to put it in a box, and and it just you know boxing and cries like oil and vinegar. It just didn't mix. So right now, it's still up in the air. Can you take some phone calls? Absolutely. All right, let's get to our first phone call. Uh, Brett, you're on with Marty Knight. How are you this afternoon? Uh, I'm, I'm doing well. Um, I thought it was a highly coincidental that I was going to ISBA and Marty Knight was going to be on the Well, I'm in Anderson. I'm in Anderson, two blocks off the square. You can't miss it. But actually, I'm sorry, I, I did not hear you. I'm I'm located in Anderson. That's my. Okay. But let me tell you, one of the top heavyweight fighters in the nation is named Jeff Tiller, and he has a school in Greenwood. Okay. And he's he, this is somebody I trained, and I think I remember. Yeah, Jeff Tiller, and he's down. Um, if you go to my website and leave me your email address, I'll send you all the information. But as far as okay, your web, uh, uh, web address is what, sir? MartyKnightKarate.com. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, and, Brett. Uh, um, I look forward to hearing from you. Love to have you aboard. Thank, okay, have a good night. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the phone call, Brett. Um, now, again, MartyKnightKarate.com. MartyKnightKarate.com. Uh, phone number for 226 5750. Two two six five seven five zero five zero, and all that info is on the website. Yeah, absolutely, we're joined with uh, Marty Knight, the recipient of the two thousand three Living Legends Award. And man, you're in good shape, though. You'll be a living legend for a long time. Like this. I don't know. I turn fifty next year, so I, I'm starting my midlife crisis now. I got my Harley, and uh, <laughs> Any earrings? You no, know, no, no. But I'm, you know, I'm gonna do some things I want to do now. I want to make a, you know. I've been to some great places in America, but it's been to the airport, to the hotel, to the fight, back to the airport, right. you know. So now I'm going to take some time and go see some things that I've never got to see. But you came out of retirement last year. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, they called me and said, we have a USA versus the world competition. We need you to fight in this division. I went like, guys, I'm retired. You know, I got to you know, concentrate on business. And they went like, it's in Hawaii. I said, I'm there. <laughs> so let's go. And I just have this thing about Hawaii. I love Hawaii. I've been there like five times in the last two years. At what point in time, I mean, tell us a little bit about that event. Um, you, you had any, any other 48, 49-year-olds to the bottom of that? Yeah. As a matter of fact, in all sports now, people are healthier. Like I heard on I don't, some HBO special that today's 40-year-olds, are like 20 years ago, 30 year olds. Everybody's staying healthier, everybody's smarter about what they eat and how they train. And the avenues to stay in shape are out there. You got health clubs, you got karate schools, you got dance schools, you got overall fitness. People are walking, Sunday softball, everything. Anything, people are staying in better shape as a whole. So at, when you go into in, in these international events, you have an age group you can go into, you have a weight group you can go into. In my situation, you have what's called a master series for the high-ranking black belts that they can go into. Right. I want to learn more about those, more about uh, the future as well. Again, uh, MartyKnightKarate.com, 226-5750. We're going to take a short break right now. We'll come back. Marty will join us. We'll open up the phone lines. Again, toll-free, 1-800-499-1049. Star all right, welcome back to the overdrive from Buck's Family Restaurant. This is our Living Legends Night from Buck's Inn Easy. You can stop by and see us. We're here for about another 30 minutes or so, and then Marty and I might spar a little bit a little later on. Of course, you know that won't really happen here. Hey, this segment brought to you by Crosswinds, uh, 61 Villa Road in Greenville. Go by and see them. Remember, they have their uh, Nevada Bob's Crosswinds Par 3 shootout coming up this weekend. Call 233-6336 to find out more. Again, 233-6336. It's 18 holes. It's a par three. You can play in about two and a half hours. Uh, it's $50 for the uh, whole weekend's event. And I think you'll like the, the Tom Fazio, Pete Dye hole, the Arnold Palmer hole, the John LaFoy hole, and the competition, the camaraderie. It's a good event. It's the last weekend before football. So go by again. Crosswind, 61 Villa Road in Greenville. Right off of 385. You see it when you go down 385. Now they cleared everything out. 233-6336. Marty Knight back with us now, and I believe we've got some uh, some young people here that wanted to ask their questions. Zach, uh, Jarrett, and Tommy are with us. You guys got a question for Marty? I do. Um, I want to 
was wondering how Marty can teach us all. So I mean, these, these are students of yours, right? Absolutely. And uh, he's supposed to know how, how can you teach all these students? Well, actually, that's a good question because a lot of times when you come into a karate school, when the kids come in, we sit down and talk to the parents. And we try to get an idea of what they want out of their children and what we can offer their children. And like I said before, you look out there, you see a lot of kids here, you see their parents here with them. Right. So we have a lot of parental involvement in what we do. And we have fun things. We have like sleepovers. We have parties. We have everything to keep the kids on a constant keel of learning. We also we have academic achiever patches that if a child makes the honor roll of school, we give them that. We put it on our website. We try to co cover the overall development. And what makes that work for us is the parents bring them to me, let me teach them karate, and I let the parents teach them how to brush their teeth and say their prayers and everything at home. Right. And it works good. It's, it's a team thing working with the parents. And I, I imagine the benefits that they see, not only from a, a physical maturation, the, the balance and uh, some of the athletic moves, but the discipline alone. Um, I know you guys are very proud in, in, in the, the discipline. If it wasn't for karate, I would have never graduated college. Because my, like a dummy, my last semester in college was my hardest semester when all my fraternity brothers made it like they were taking underwater basket weaving and stuff like that. I actually had to study. So the discipline does play a part in being able to get done what has to be done at the appropriate time. All right, let's, I believe we got a phone call, and I believe it is Rick who's been holding. Hey, Rick, you're on with Marty Knight. Yo, how y'all doing tonight? We are good, sir. We hope you are, too. I'm doing fine. I just want to let Marty know that I am proud of him. I've been knowing Marty since we was behind the grasshoppers playing football in the backyard, barefooted and cut off blue jeans. I and still barefooted and cut off blue jeans. <laughs> I'm sorry? I still wear cut off blue jeans and stay barefooted. I do too. <laughs> you tell me from Belton, huh? That's right. Once it's in your blood, it stays there. Heart is pretty high. How you doing, Rick? Good. And I just want to let you know how proud I am of you, and I want everybody to know that I have been knowing Marty. He said he just turned 50. I'm about to. Well, don't push me there yet. Well, about to. Next year. I'm about to turn 52. You go ahead. I'll wait on you. <laughs> All right. But I want everybody to know that I've been knowing Marty for most of our lives, and he's still the same Marty. Well, thank you, Rick. That means a lot coming from a friend from way back when. Yeah. And we'll always be friends, Marty. I hear you. And I'll let you go and let these other people congratulate you, but I want to let you know that I am very proud. And it wouldn't mean much more to me if, than if it was Danny. Thank you so much, Rick. You know what I'm talking about. Absolutely. All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Certainly appreciate the call.